Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Ari for your cloud learning journey partner. A question could come to your mind uh, with the new innovation of AI. All the job sectors are getting affected uh, from the AI innovation because of the automation. Uh, will uh, AI going to replace all the uh, cloud-related jobs? Uh, so uh, maybe you have started your career in cloud or you're planning to uh, do a career transition from different field to the cloud, but you are concerned about one particular question that is uh, Will uh, AI gonna affect the uh, the cloud job market? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna sh show you some insight. I'm gonna share some insights that gonna help you to uh, get to your answer. And at the very end, you will have a complete understanding like uh, how AI gonna affect the cloud job market or uh, is it uh, really worth it to start your cloud journey in this uh, AI driven uh, world? So before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than nine years of experience in uh, cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Beside that, I have a certification uh, like CISSP and CCSP, which we can consider the industry standard of uh, cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT related tips. So if you're interested in this topic, this channel is for you. I'm going to upload a tons of videos. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel from where you can see all these contents. So without further delay, let's explore the hot topic, whether AI is going to replace the cloud-related jobs or not. At the very beginning of today's video, let's first talk about what actually a cloud engineer does. So whenever we talk about cloud engineer, a cloud engineer has multiple job roles. A cloud engineer uh, could be a cloud solutions architect, a cloud DevOps engineer, cloud uh, syswap administrator, cloud security, security expert, cloud uh, network uh, specialist. So if you're working in a big organization, then uh, for every single particular job, uh, like for the, th the subsection I mentioned, uh, you will see different sort of specialist person, but you are working more of a small or mid cap company, then you have to do all of it. You have to wear multiple hats. So basically the idea as a cloud engineer is that uh, we have to design an architecture, a uh, uh, platform, an uh, infrastructure, where we can uh, deploy our application or we want to do a, um, do a migration from on-prem to the cloud. So we have to create an architecture that pretty much reflect the current on-prem infrastructure. And then we have to start uh, developing all the resources. We have to use multiple cloud uh, services to uh, come up with our uh, solution, come up with our infrastructure. Once we deploy our uh, solution, our application to the cloud environment, the next uh, goal is to make sure it's uh, fault tolerant, it has proper security control in place, it has all the necessary uh, kind of like controls and stuff that we need uh, to have to make sure the application up and running all the time without any uh, issues. So it's a complete life cycle from the beginning to the end. So uh, as a cloud engineer, you have to uh, know all of it. Even if you are a specialist in a one field, but you have to know the complete cycle because you have to uh, communicate and collaborate with other team members to make sure uh, the program, the application is running smoothly under the cloud environment. Okay, now let's talk about uh, AI. Uh, what is AI? AI stands for artificial intelligence and AI also has different subsections. Whenever we're talking about AI, it has uh, machine learning, it has uh, deep learning, it has uh, gen AI. Gen AI is the uh, current uh, trend. Whenever we're talking about chat GPT as a AI solution, we're talking about gen AI. So it can generate a response uh, according to its uh, the request that you're gonna send. So in the back end, it has a very strong foundation model, which was trained with tons and tons of information. And it's very costly to train those models with all this information because it requires a lot of compute power. And once it's trained well, then uh, right now under ChatGPT, whatever we want to ask, we can ask under the ChatGPT uh, prompt and it's going to give us a response. We can even ask for some coding suggestion. We can use it for uh, troubleshooting our code. So it's pretty powerful stuff. So this this is a more of a like generic overview what is AI and what kind of thing we can do using AI. Now let's talk about how AI is impacting the cloud uh, world. Well, AI has already been integrated to many cloud uh, platforms, cloud providers. 
for specifically if you want to talk about uh, some monitoring tools like AWS uh, CloudWatch or Azure Monitor, here the whole infrastructure can be monitored by these uh, AI solutions, AI services, and from there if something goes wrong, things could be fixed uh, uh, automatically. So here more of automation things going on. And even if we want to talk about the security part of AI impact, well, AWS has features uh, services like AWS Guard Duty, which is uh, based on uh, some uh, machine learning uh, algorithm, which gonna monitor the whole cloud environment. If some uh, suspicious activities go is, uh, going on in our AWS account or any cloud pro provider, then uh, it gonna raise uh, concern. And if we set some automation, it gonna fix those problems by itself, like the complete automation. Uh, uh, the security cons uh, concern could be something like that if you were running an EC2 server and uh, the server got compromised and uh, some uh, uh, a person is using it uh, to mine uh, uh, cryptocurrency, to mine Bitcoin. It can be easily traceable using the service like Guard Duty because it uh, has the AI feature. Well, um, here one thing to uh, mention that is uh, automation is a part of cloud computing it's not the complete cloud uh, computing features cloud computing has like all the things all the field uh, here if we uh, introduce automation it gonna make the cloud invert more uh, fault tolerant and the cloud engineer can utilize their uh, extra time to do some more uh, productive stuff so automation is a subset of uh, uh, cloud computing but it can't be like the complete thing is uh, it can't be defined by automation in another scenario, AI is also dependent on uh, cloud uh, engineers. Let me explain that. So if a company wants to play with the uh, AI features uh, on the, under the cloud environment, they are using AI services uh, under cloud like AWS SageMaker, AWS Bedrock, and uh, many uh, AI services. So whenever uh, they are uh, trying to uh, use the AI features, uh, then the AI infrastructure need to have uh, the perfect amount of uh, uh, CPU memory, the GPU, etc. And uh, the AI engineer are the person who gonna uh, configure the infrastructure where the AI gonna run. So in another way, AI infrastructure, uh, if we want uh, if we want to manage the AI infrastructure more efficiently, we need a, uh, the cloud engineers to configure it, to make sure the proper security are in place, to make sure there is uh, no uh, uh, there is uh, no misuse of the AI uh, prompt uh, because the security person in the cloud, they know how to protect the uh, resources that are deployed on uh, cloud to serve the AI platform. In 2024, the cloud sector has grown by 20.4%. For any particular sector, this uh, growth rate is quite impressive. And the interesting part is that uh, the AI-driven uh, cloud services are getting more and more popular in these years. So here now, uh, for cloud engineers, I feel like it's more of an opportunity than a threat. If a cloud engineer can adopt all the new innovation AI services that are uh, uh, provided to the, from the cloud providers, I think this is a game changer. So you now you have the knowledge of the cloud as a cloud engineer and also you know how to configure and uh, build this stuff using AI in the cloud environment. Why people are using uh, cloud environment to, for the AI services? Well, there's a reason behind it. So if you want to train a model like ChatGPT, like a foundation model, you have to uh, spend millions, millions of dollars because in the back end, you have to train this model with uh, tons of data. And for that, you need to have a lot of uh, compute power, GPU power, which is very expensive. But in a cloud environment, uh, here, all the things are pay as you go. You are just paying what, what the, you are uh, requesting for. You are paying for per token basis, on-demand basis. So for uh, this uh, particular reason, cloud AI services are getting more and more popular because people are crazy right now about the AI services, but uh, the cost is also quite high if you want to uh, 
build a AI model in your on-prem system. So as a cloud engineer, I think it's the high time to take advantage of the uh, of the situation and learn more about uh, AI driven cloud services. And uh, uh, I think this is uh, the way we should uh, think. And for that reason, I recently uh, uh, passed my AWS AI practitioner certification. So if you're also interested about this particular certification, I'm gonna add the video link under this description where I have explained in detail way like how I passed the certification almost like within two weeks. Cause uh, uh, these uh, AI services are already uh, uh, focusing on uh, cloud uh, platform so it's very easy for us to uh, understand the concept because we are already familiar with the cloud environment so now if you uh, ask me the question like will ai gonna replace all the cloud jobs uh, my answer would be an absolutely no because uh, here uh, ai and uh, cloud is working uh, side by side because uh, most of the companies are using a uh, cloud-based ai services because uh, uh, it's very expensive to build on-prem so uh, i think it's more of a blessing for the cloud engineers they can uh, learn the cloud related ai services and from there they're gonna uh, make uh, the best out of it so if you guys have any question or any sort of uh, confusion related to this uh, uh, ai career path as a cloud engineer uh, please let me know in this comment section and i'm going to reply in a very short period of time thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me our community is growing more and more uh, tech interested people are joining and the ultimate goal of th this channel is to help each other to become a better it professional well, that's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.